Good morning, guys. Welcome to Stacy Three Productions. And man, we got a pretty cool little project going on. So stick around, stay tuned, and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, guys. Well, right now I'm gonna show you how to do some glass etching. You know, that's a pretty cool project and you're only going to need a few different things so here I'll check it out alright you're going to need a cup or glass or something you're going to need a stencil alright voila oh yeah by the way let's cut right from my plotter if you guys need one of these or want one of these Make sure you go over to Underground Graphics on uh, Facebook and check us out. If you want one, let me know. i can get it out to you. Alright, you're going to need paintbrush. Went brain dead there, guys. Alright, now this stuff here, Armor Edge. Are going to focus? Focus, focus. Well, anyway, what it is is glass etching cream. All right. Now with this stuff, you're gonna have to be really, really careful. I could not emphasize enough how careful you have to be with this stuff. It is very toxic, poison. Okay. Listen, guys. Don't cut your don't cut your uh, children loose with this stuff, man. It could, it'll ruin your day if you're not careful. But again, do not let your children play with this stuff. Alright? Again here. Now, I've noticed from doing some of these, see how, real quick tip, see how thick this beer mug is? Alright. For better results, in my opinion, you're going to want, you know, thinner glass. Alright, the thinner you can get it, the better off you are. And one more thing about this. This stuff will not work with tempered glass. I mean, you can pour this on all day long and it, it won't even affect it. So, just remember that. It doesn't work on tempered glass. And... There's also another way of doing it, and this is how I prefer to do it. It's just a little more messy. This is my sandblaster. Alright, this is just a little spot blaster. Um, you can pick these up anywhere. And 80 grit, 80 grit sand. Alright, now. Now, if you want to use a sandblaster, what you're going to want to do is fill that up, your sandblaster. Turn your uh, compressor up to probably, I don't know, between 60 and 80 PSI. I've used it up to 80 PSI. It, it won't hurt the glass. It won't break anything. I can show you a little example of one that I did a long time ago. Oop right here this is from a Mustang 1984 Mustang window and this is what I did with my sandblaster and that was 80 psi and it worked perfect it didn't hurt anything so anyway that's another way of doing it you can also go to your craft store or go on the internet or whatever and you can buy this thing called an air eraser and it basically looks like an airbrush but it's for sand you know for like really fine details and small jobs like wine glasses and beer mugs whatever stuff like that now 
I don't think you want to use a sandblaster on something this small but you could if you wanted to you just have to tape everything off so all right let me uh, get everything set up and then we'll get started and I'll show you how this works all right guys let's get this show on the road right all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this decal let me peel this off of here center that and just kind of fold this in half and kind of set it in there something like this all right go down through the center like so and then you're gonna take your squeezy, go all the way around there. You don't want no air bubbles or anything like that. Cause that'll just goof your project up. And you can use a, a squeezy, credit card, driver's license, whatever. I mean, whatever works for you. This is actually a Mondo spreader, but it works just the same. I use that for a lot of stuff. Uh -oh. Alright, now I'm going to peel this coating off. Alright, now what we're going to do is you got to pull this transfer tape off. Alright, All right, that looks pretty good. You got to peel the transfer tape off. This can be a pain sometimes. Hmm. There we go. Peel this off. This stuff you got. Make sure you peel it slow too, so you don't pull nothing off of there for detail. And sometimes it happens. If it does, just push it back down. It ain't nothing serious. Oh, well, like that right there. take some masking tape or something and go around the edges right here because you you want to block off everything that you don't want etched okay and I forgot the tape so give me a second and I'll go grab that and I'll be right back all right so now you just use some masking tape or whatever. It's nothing serious. And then you want this, you want to run some tape across here so nothing, because I'm telling you, if this stuff gets off onto this glass over here, it will etch. 
trust me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the etching cream. And again, guys, don't let your kids play with this stuff. It is bad. But anyway, what we're going to do, we're just going to basically go through here and just paint this on. And you want it on there, you're going to want that on there pretty thick, so. keep doing that all the way through I'll finish painting this up and I'll show you what it looks like all right now you know basically painted that all on there you're gonna get something like this I'm just gonna leave that set there now now on the bottle it says leave it leave it on there for 60 seconds take it to your sink rinse it off pull your decal off or stencil or whatever and then boom you're good to go well I've tried that and within 60 seconds it does work but not very good so with a little bit of trial and error you're going to want to wait at least 15 minutes. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit here and wait the 15 minutes for you. So that it only takes you a half a second to see it. Then we'll show you what the end result is. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say something. I forgot what it was. But anyway, alright, I'll be back in a minute and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh yeah, and there's one more thing I probably should have mentioned. Um, when you do this, you're going to want to have your window open or your fan running or something because this stuff does have a really bad smell to it. And if you're going to do it in like an enclosed area or whatever, it's going to smell bad for a while. Oh yeah, and you should probably use gloves. You know, some uh, rubber gloves or something like that. Because you don't want this stuff on your skin at all. I thought I'd point that out there while we wait for the effect to happen. Oh yeah. Man, I'm forgetting everything. Holy. Alright. And there is one more way of doing this too. Outside of sandblasting or the cream or an air eraser. Now this is where you get really technical and I've seen this done before and it has a really sharp effect is what you use is one of these a trusty Dremel use a Dremel and these bits right here you know how are you going to focus yeah, a little bit kind of sort of anyway you can use these bits right here and each one of these bits is used for you know different effects on glass um, wood metal you know all kinds of different things now if you can really get into that you can get some really cool effects from uh, glass etching also glass engraving or whatever well, there's another way you can do it you know, if you have a Dremel if you don't have a Dremel you know try to pick one up some you know someday I mean you can do a lot of stuff with this this little thing right here but I thought I'd put that out there all right so there's a lot of different ways you can do stuff you just have to look around so Alright, well, we're still waiting on this, on the cream, so 
All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Well, time's up. What I've already done, I went and I uh, took it to the sink. I rinsed it off. I peeled off the vinyl. Um, and this is what we have. Hopefully you can see that. And there you have it. The scorpion. And it turned out pretty decent. You know, it's pretty simple, to the point. It's just a couple of things you have to remember. Number one, you know, leave it on there for a little extra time. You know, it says on the bottle, like I said earlier, 60 seconds. And this is after 15 minutes. And the effect is a lot better, believe me. Right there. Turned out pretty good. Now, if you use a sandblaster, see this is why I like the sandblaster. This stuff right here, when you hit that with a sandblaster, you can get that, you can get this detail to come out a lot better and just a little bit deeper. You know, that's the difference between it. <coughs> you know, 15 minutes versus 3 seconds. <laughs> I mean, that's about it. all it would take for something like this with a sandblaster. Just a couple, couple seconds, done deal. Now, so, there you have it, you know. We can do a little recap real quick. Hey, your beer mug, or glass, or wine glass, or whatever. And thinner is better, believe that. So, try to get this as thin as possible. This is a little bit thicker, but, I mean, it still worked, but, like I said, the thinner the glass, the better off you're going to be. All right. The paintbrush, which you can just rinse that out right in the sink. It, it comes out real easy, and you can reuse the brush. A little bit of tape. Squeegee. Glass etching stuff that you're not going to let your children play with. It's very important. I've, I've said that a couple times already. Do not let your children get this stuff. Anyway. And of course, your decal or stencil. And like I mentioned earlier, I sell these decals over at uh, Underground Graphics on Facebook. So... You know, I'll leave a link down below. You can go check that out if you want. And that pretty much covers it, you know. It's pretty simple, to the point. Anybody can do it. You know, I've got an upcoming video here where I'm going to show you how to get... How to make one of these. Now this... Is a store bought um, glass. Alright. I don't know if you can, I don't know how well you can see that. But anyway, it's like screen printed or painted or whatever. Well, anyway, in an upcoming video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these too. And these are pretty cool. You know, so. You know, be looking out for that. Um, I got a ton of videos coming up. I just have to have the time to put them all together. You know, like I said, you know, I got a Facebook fan page. You know, go check it out if you want decals. We also do a little bit of glass etching over there. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah. If you have any questions or comments, 
just leave them down below or you can message me either way and of course subscribe hit the like button all that good stuff you know and if you really like it you know hit the share button share it to all your social networks you know it, it helps me and in turn helps you so there you go so until next time guys take care and stay safe